urban biodiversity is what is there in a city. So what species are available? How many of these species are available? A lot of people think that urban biodiversity means like very little species. But we live in a mega diverse country, so the opposite is true. A lot of very, very small animals, in fact, possibly thousands of species, can survive within these small spaces within the city. Uh, we're looking at forest patches, all these beluka, all these small wild spaces, even your garden, can be habitat for many urban wildlife. I used to always go walking around the city. It was one of a hobby of mine. And as you walk around, you start to notice things that you might not notice in a car. You see the butterflies, you see the bees, you see all the wildflowers growing along the roads. And that made me very curious. And you know, I wanted to know more about these ecosystems. And as I learned more, I found that these uh, plants and animals show us a solution to how we can make our cities more livable. We started Ubi because while there's a lot of discussion about how to protect our forests, the conversation about how we should live with the natural environment hasn't started yet. Through our activities, we're trying to get the conversation started on how we can coexist with the natural world. How can we find solutions um, to problems within, urban, within the urban setting? Or how can we find work together with nature to make our cities more livable? Perhaps one of the problems uh, for urban people is that our relationship with nature is mostly one of fear. The thing is, with nature in our lives, you have more solutions, you have better quality of living. We have cleaner water, we will have cleaner air, you would have food security. And all these things can be within our cities, and, but we need to be able to search for these solutions in the now. The simplest way to increase the biodiversity around you is just let things grow wild. But many people might not like this because it may look a bit messy to you. Um, so an alternative would be to do biodiversity gardening. That is to plant uh, plants which or make space for the wildlife around you. This can be a small herb patch or even planting understory trees like ginger to make more space for animals and plants. And I hope that as you garden for biodiversity, you start to get to know the beetles, the flies, the butterflies, which live around you. And in a way, you make friends with them and you start to understand them and become neighbors with them. And you learn to live with nature as part of your environment. <laughs>